All right, so this is the, my new uh, service. This is the Southern Fried Chicken with Spicy Honey and Buttermilk Mashed Potatoes. This is the Chef's Instructions, Chris Rattel, and Fast Instructions, all the dates, calories, and by Cook Unity. So here it is. Wow, I am super impressed. That looks so good. Going to enjoy it. So I have this from Cook Unity. So this is the chef and you have his instructions. This is the Japanese style crispy chicken katsu. Um, and then of course a salad. Um, so here we have fast instructions and then the uh, stats and that back there. And here is our food. It looks so good. So, so good. Yum. I can't wait to try it. Y'all, I just got home from work. And here I am pouring the sauce all over. I know you didn't see anything. This is so good. It has a lemon to go with it, so. We're going to put lemon. This smells so good. Like really. So good. And then I have the cucumber salad that I've been munching down on. This is like a gourmet meal right now. I feel like the chef himself is here and it's so good mm. all right so this is the mushroom and spinach enchiladas and here is the chef here's her instructions and here are the calories and everything that goes in it um, and here is the enchiladas. They are fantastic. I mean, you get so much food in these uh, meals. And I think it's a lot more food than Factor. I will be doing a comparison. So, but I just had to show you guys the yumminess. So here I go in for a bite. It did come with a side of pico de gallo, which was really good. So good. This tastes like an upscale Mexican restaurant. No joke. Chef, you are amazing. Mmm. You guys are missing out if you don't try Cook Unity. It's a whole different vibe. Like, and it is more expensive, but my goodness, the quality is amazing. Factor is great. I love Factor, but Cook Unity is up like notches above that. Good. Okay, so we have another meal, which I didn't really feature all of the meals, but it's just kind of been one of those weeks. But here we have the avocado chicken casserole, and the chef is Andreas Mendez. How to put the little R in there. Um, so we're going to look at this casserole. Oh my goodness. It's got all the goodies, you guys. Like, look, chunks of chicken. It has a lot of cheese. Um, chunks of, like, lots of vegetables. 
Um, I wish it just had rice, to be honest. I, had, I, I don't see anything else but chicken sauce and chopped up veggies and lots of cheese. So I'm not sure like what kind of casserole that is in his mind, but I'm sure it's going to be good. All the meals have been excellent and they are huge portions. Like that's a lot of food. And I'm kind of not hungry right now, but then I am kind of hungry. So I'm just going to let this cool off and cool down for a minute. Um, but yeah, I am really excited to eat this meal. And yeah, I had to come back and tell you how it tastes. <laughs> it is definitely spicy. Um, it's definitely cheesy. And the meat is so tender and so good. But what you can add to this, you can add some Fritos to this. It might take away its little ambiance of being chefly made. But like some chips. Something. Maybe like potato. I would have liked to see potato in here. Or like I said, rice. You can add rice. But it's really good cheese the sauce everything was really really good it's just a bit plain you know it needs like a base it needs something i thought like i said i thought rice would be in it but um yeah oh that's what it's missing it's missing the avocado <laughs> i was like it says avocado oh, it's missing this but still it would be great if it had some rice I think it would be great if I had some rice or potato as a base. So it is missing something. It's missing like corn. It's missing, you know, I mean, it's not my most favorite, I will have to say. But yeah, the avocado, that definitely will be in here. Okay.